Rob, before uh, we get to your time uh, with the Lakers, let's bring our viewers up to speed because Laker Nation, they always want to know what their Laker legends are up to. You recently went back to your roots in Canada. You've taken a job uh, in Vancouver. Tell us about it and why did you make the decision? That was a great question. You know, I wanted to just give back to my community. Uh, I wanted to be a part of basketball in Vancouver again. And I thought it was just a great opportunity to, to jump on and, and just help out anybody that needs inspiration to watch someone play basketball. I thought, you know what, the Bandits is a great opportunity for young kids to watch basketball. So I just wanted to be a part of that. Do you have aspirations, Rob, to be a head coach in the NBA, or do you prefer to stay behind the scenes? Behind the scenes, man. That's where I realized that's it's more stress, but, you know, at the same time, you're not in that hot seat as bad, you dig? <laughs> you spent four seasons with the Lakers, and you retired from professional basketball in 2019. What do you miss most, Rob, about the NBA and your time in the league? Just getting up and down. Really running, running, uh, running and playing and kind of just being in that moment. I think that's the most, uh, it's hard to kind of find something when you're done to keep you locked in in a moment. And I think that's why everyone loves sports so much because we're so in in the present. And I, I kind of miss that the most, but I have so many things on my plate that I can't even focus on basketball playing for the Lakers isn't like playing for say uh, the Toronto Raptors or the Washington Wizards I mean you're under a microscope in Los Angeles really no matter what professional sports sport you're playing here in LA was that tough at times uh well playing for Gonzaga in Spokane you were I always say Gonzaga is to Spokane as LA to uh to the Lakers so that being said, I was already on a pedestal when I was in Spokane, and then it just was a little bit bigger stage. But at the same time, I didn't feel any pressure. Pressure makes diamonds over here. January the 26th, 2020, we were all in shock and completely blindsided by the tragic death of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and the others that were in that helicopter. And I imagine as a friend, as a former teammate, you were completely devastated, Rob. It, it just was a surreal, unbelievable moment that you just had to step back and ask yourself if it was real or not. Really, it was it was just it's unbelievable. And um, I just uh, my prayers go out to the Bryant family. And that's really all I can say. Is it still I mean, do you, do you still think about it and go, I, I, I just can't believe this is that that's real. I try to. As much as it is devastating and everything, I just look at how surreal it was I was able to play with him. You know, that I got four years. I'm, I'm so blessed to be able to say I got to play with him four years. So just that opportunity alone, um, it, it's upsetting that, you know, I'll never be able to have a conversation again with him. But at the same time, I was able to pick up so much knowledge for the four years that I was with him that um, – it inspired me to do, and uh, it inspired me to do more and, uh, and go for more in life. And that's why I'm very grateful for the time I did have with him. Were there any lessons or words of wisdom uh, that you took from Kobe Bryant that you could share with us, Rob? Absolutely. No matter how hard and monotonous and grinding things may be, and the, it's the monotonous things that make us better, even though we don't want to do them and like. And it's, it's sometimes can come to be boring when you do the same thing over and over again. You, you're constantly working and progressing each time you do that and you're watering your own bamboo. It's a brotherhood, Rob. Do you still keep in touch with a lot of the guys that, that you played with over the course of, of your career? Absolutely, man. I've met so many great guys throughout this whole process of playing basketball I got to see the world and uh, I got to have amazing experiences with great guys and um, I try to stay in touch with a bunch of them and just make sure that you know I'm always I'm always here if they need me so I'm um, uh, again 
I'm blessed to say I played basketball and got to play with some of the greats and it was just a surreal moment.